Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm up today with a KS Craft Design Team Hall and it's Christmas which means from here on I shall be doing Christmas until I can Christmas no more. So first up we have sentiments and everything will be linked below and you know I don't really read backwards so I have some sentiments. We have a, I believe this is a large crayon box. So that will look like a crayon. Great gift for children and teachers. So we've got that one. And although that's not very Christmas. And then we've got a very large snowflake. This can be a shaker or an easel card. Isn't that great? And then you've got that other large piece. Now, I don't know if that's going to cut out of acetate, but I'm certainly going to give it a try because it would make an awesome Christmas decoration. I love that. So that's multiple use. And then we have uh, some little flowers. I believe in here a poinsettia and holly. Let's uh, just make sure. Well, I've got two plates in here. And they are indeed poinsettia. Oh no, that's the background for the poinsettia. Right, so that's a set. So we've got the leaves and we've got the backgrounds for doing that. So that's wonderful and then I've got this huge calculator so another great one we've also got a bow and a pair of glasses in here and you've also got some eyeballs which are really sweet now of course multiple use again because you can use a bow on anything and these can be filled with you know summer stamps or images and you could create a summer themed birthday card or anything with those or even onto a planner page so you know cutesy calculator school teacher and child but also you can use them to make a summertime card love that next up this is seriously cute and we have the uh, cookie tray which is shaped like a gingerbread and that is a stamp and then it comes with a die and then it comes if you can see that with all of the cookie alphabet that's really really cute looking forward to doing that one and then we have another one and i believe this is a oh i'm not sure it's a frame i think it's a frame pocket i'm looking at it so i need to go onto a ks crafts page i think just to find out but we've got little reinforcers and we've got um clips so I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. But it looks like something I'd like, because uh, anywhere I see a frame and clips, you know, I'm there. <laughs> right, next up we have flowers, and we also have a lacy looking frame. So let's have a look. We've got all different sizes, and there are stars in here. And we've also got a circular frame so once again i need to go and look at exactly what that is next up we have candy canes and these are really cute because they've got the little scallop lace backgrounds for them to go on to and you've also got the little hang tags so great additions for popping on a tag or using it independently on a card those are just really really cute next up we've got santa and i'm looking forward to making this one because i do love cute santa characters and you've got a little face going on there and you've got the little bobble for the hat just really cute look at his little feet yeah i'm looking forward to doing that one and seeing how it turns out next up we have i believe these are bows with a kind of folk artish end I believe that's correct so once again I need to go over onto KS Crafts page and find out exactly what those are but they certainly look interesting and I do love bows and then we've got another set of bows and these are reindeer ones so we've got the antlers we've got the bow pieces and we've also got little eyelashes so those look like they're going to be really cute and then we have this i think this is absolutely gorgeous look at that little gingerbreads with the bows 
Oh, I do love making gingerbread. And you've got the um, the frosting. And it's instead of having your wavy rickrack frosting, this one is loopy. Which is more like how mine comes out, actually. Because <laughs> my frosting is never neat and tidy. No, it's not. So that's a really cute little gingerbread. And what's interesting is there is a larger version. Which can be a shaker. Or an easel card, yeah. So I think that one, hanging on to that one, is just going to be adorable. Yeah. So we're going to have the biggie and the baby. I think I'm going to do this on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Because it's Friday. Yes, it is. It's the weekend. And these are little miniature gift packages, which are really cute. And look at that gingerbread. Oh, isn't that wonderful? That is so sweet. And you've got oak leaves. You've got flowers. You've got little heart-shaped leaves. And you've got bows. So really cute little gift packages. They can be used for autumn with the oak leaves. I mean, those could be oak or holly. Yeah, I'm trying to think. And that could be poinsettia. But you could certainly layer those up to make a sunflower. So these could be, you know, any seasonal kind of boxes. But they're really sweet. Next up, we've got a rosette. And it's a gingerbread edged one. Isn't that cute? That's lovely. I'll give that a quick measurement, actually, while I'm uh, moving stuff around so that you know how big that is. Because it's looking to me, that's, uh, let's go on the cut line, just a fraction shy of eight and a quarter. That looks to me like you might need to cut two to make a whole thing, because that's rather large. Let's do the depth on that. That is two and seven eighths. It's almost three inches. So that's going to make a huge rosette. And next up, we have the bag topper. Now, I've actually seen this one on Chaos Crafts page, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's great that you can also use the gingerbread on their own. You don't have to put them onto the gift bag topper. So that's really great. Love that. And then, of course, going back to the ice cream parlour, and we did the ice cream parlour, and we did the Halloween um, store, the costume store, and now we've got a Christmas shop edition. Isn't that great? So this is what's going to go onto your canopy, and you've got your wreaths and your bows, you've got your Christmas tree, you've got your candy canes, and we've got a new word to go on top. I think that says ginger gingerbread yeah so we've got gingerbread to go on there and you've got um a swirly candy a peppermint candy the base for that and you've got all your little frosting trips these are such great sets these additions because you do not have to use them with the house you can use them independently i just love those and you've got all the little christmas lights as well and a little cupcake so that's great and then next up we have a bag topper and I can read this one because it says holiday <laughs> and that says magic yeah holiday magic isn't that great I love that and then last but not least I believe this is a nail file box if I'm wrong somebody can tell me but I believe you make that up and it's supposed to have a nail file inside but I'm pretty sure you could put anything in there you know you can put a pen in there pencils whatever it is you wanted to do so that is just really really cute love that and you've got the um the collar that goes on that's the belt and you've got the buttons and you've got the lacy bit so that's really sweet. Right, that is what I've got for you today. And I do hope you have an absolutely awesome weekend. Yeah, I'm still tidying up in the garden. So not so good. I've noticed a couple of my fig trees are drooping due to too much rain. So I'm going to try and survive them. Yeah, try and get them to survive anyway. Right, so have an absolutely awesome weekend. And as usual, all links below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.